All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's going to be another Jeremiah Payne video where he puts his daughter in danger again. But we're going to jump to something else before that. The greatest conspiracy theory of all time with Lucky Laptop News allegedly snitching on JC News Now. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into this shit. Um, somebody told me about this the other day. I decided to dig in a little bit. Um, you got Where's Jimmy? Allegedly, James Freeman said something in a live stream or on someone's live stream to the effect that Lucky Laptop News turned in JC News Now. Uh, right there, News Now, Bobby Hill, 9195. James Freeman said you turned in JC to collect a reward, but I don't believe that POS. I think you made a plea deal. So you can lower some charges you're facing. Whoever is right, good job helping the cops take him down. You snitched on JC News now. You sold out JC. And, you know, just for shits, we'll uh, click on that. So he's claiming, no, he didn't. No honor among thieves. That's correct. They will throw anyone under the bus if it means them themselves getting more views. Uh, you'd, again, he says he didn't sell them out. Profanity is the attempt of a simple mind to forcibly express itself. Where's your boyfriend, JC News Now? Apparently this person thinks that they, Lucky Laptop News and his law books, should represent him in court. Who cares if you made an agreement with Ava County to save your ass? Letting them know where JC was hiding was a good idea. Are you going to testify on your buddy to avoid jail time? I did not see this one starting off. Again, he's playing like he doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, God, this is just absolutely terrific. But yeah, we're going to jump into the Jeremiah video now. I just wanted to show you the new budding uh, conspiracy theory in the frauditing community. You guys, you guys got an idea about that? Um, I don't have my wallet. Yeah, I don't have mine. I didn't bring my wallet. I just did the thing. Oh, what's that? What's the name? I can... Have we committed a crime? Oh, no, we just got a couple of times. The people were concerned with the child being out here in the weather and yeah. everything. Um, yeah, I know. I, I know, and if I get my name, then it goes into a log. And then it becomes public record, so I'd rather not do that and get into all that. No, I'm not pretty talking to anything. I just want to know what I'm no, talking to. No, I'm not, I understand that. My name is Jeremiah, but, I mean, it goes into the log system. Then it becomes public records. No, and anybody be, can... No, it'll, it'll only become public record if, like, if like you, commit, you, commit, you haven't committed a crime, okay? The only reason I'm here... It's just because people were concerned, or they see you have a child out here, right. and people like were concerned about that. That's why I'm here. And for me, but if I haven't committed a crime, I'm not gonna ID because I'm not giving up my Fourth Amendment. Sorry. I'm not giving up my Fourth Amendment. Why is that a joke? Why are I'm you not, smelling? I'm not. I'm not saying it's a joke. I'm not smiling. I just. I just talk for a second. If we're being honest, yeah, I think it's kind of a joke. I think it's kind of a joke that Jeremiah even has his child at this point. If I'm living in my house and I look across the street and I see for days and days and days a homeless couple has a small child living in a wagon, whether it's snowing, raining, sleeting, if it gets down into the 10s, 20s, 30s, I'm going to call for a wellness check. Again, I don't believe Jeremiah should have this child whatsoever. Neither one of them are responsible enough to take care of themselves, let alone a child. And super spy Jeremiah Payne doesn't want to be part of the public record. I think he's under the impression that people are still looking for him, which, if we're being honest, nobody was looking for him in the first place. Um, he just keeps posting things where we can easily be like, oh, yeah, Jeremiah is in this city because he recorded the police department that said that city. Um, I watched the whole video trying to get what city he was in. Um, I couldn't find it. There was a little clip of the car at the end where it just showed the front, couldn't really see anything. I picked the closest city to I know, you know, where Jeremiah likes to hang out. The weather wasn't bad. It's in the 50s and 60s. Uh, so I don't know if this video is recent, which sometimes he holds on to videos. Sometimes he re-uploads videos that are fucking years old at this point. But yes, I think it's a joke. We're not going to watch this entire video. Uh, we're going to jump to something else Jeremiah related, which I thought was comical. We're just going to keep going. Only thing I'm saying is, for me, let's say hypothetically, you got warrants, early warrants, something like that, and I just let you have that out of it. You know how that would look? Let's say hypothetically, uh, let's say hypothetically, uh, then you just go around checking everybody for warrants, yeah, right. taking away everybody's Fourth Amendment. What's the point of having it? 
You're supposed so, to be securing your person's papers in the fence. The thing is, what I'm doing right now, is just because you got a car, that's a, if you if you were here, you see you and your wife, I'm assuming, your wife, if you and your wife would be here, I wouldn't even be part of you guys. We got a couple of calls. That's the reason why I'm stopping. Okay, exactly. You got a call. Yeah, a couple of calls. What, what law did we break? Sir, we got, got a couple of calls. This is what concern about the, about the child being out here and due to the weather. If, the child, if people want to call in, if I want to go by, if people, especially if people want to call in, I want to bother you guys. I, I've had a million other cops do the same thing right. and never want my ID. Come out here, do a wellness check see that she's okay she's taken care of and leave um, but okay so that's where we're going to cut the video portion of this we're going to jump to one of his community posts in a second i just couldn't take him lying anymore and the community post will prove that what he just said about her being well taken care of is an absolute lie um the whole oh plenty of officers have been out here to check on her and found her to be well taken care of no they haven't you have your daughter literally living in a wagon with two umbrellas the fuck, Jeremiah? How is she well taken care of? Her mom and dad jump from place to place, job to job, job to job, because nobody could ever prove they have a job, because as per usual, Jeremiah's like, oh, well, we just need money to get to next week when we get paid. And then they shockingly don't get paid that week in eBay again. So how is she well taken care of? I know personally you've lived in like two different states and a million different cities trying to stay ahead of CPS just in the three years that I've been covering you. I guess him. He's not going to watch this video. He's an idiot. But yeah, she's not well taken care of. You have your daughter living in a wagon with two tents. Like, I'm not trying to, like, shame him in any way, but, like, my kid is taking a nap in a tent that I built her over here. She doesn't have to live in that outside. I don't think any child should have to live in a tent outside in the freezing cold. My parents live right near to where Jeremiah does his bullshit. It's freezing cold during the winter, and Jeremiah's just out there in a wagon. Thinking his daughter's well taken care of. Uh, now we're going to jump to his community post. We're going to giggle at that. And then we're going to be done with the video. Well, guys, funny story about Jeremiah's community post. He deleted it because it made him look like shit. He was trying to say, well, we need money again. Blah, blah, blah. We need money. But I can't tell you what it's for. Blah, blah, blah. I can probably give you a few guesses for what it's for. Jeremiah's not going to mention it. But yeah, he threw out his normal, you know, PayPal type links. He threw out a... A Bitcoin wallet that he's trying to get people to send him Bitcoin. Like, ain't nobody got time for that, Jeremiah. But he wouldn't tell us what it was for, which I found very telling. Drugs, possibly. A place to live, maybe. Food, 1,000%, because they can't provide for themselves, which is why their brother-in-law, or his brother-in-law, allegedly, is trying to take his daughter, which, at this point, if he was a good parent, he would let his daughter go until he can actually provide for himself. But this is one thing that I wanted to show you. This, one, one every day now, here we go. It was zero degree with a wind chill of negative eight. And they had their daughter out in this in a fucking wagon. And that was four weeks ago. This is why people keep calling in and saying, hey, can you check on this kid? She's been outside for days in a wagon. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Do all the typical YouTube things. Like it if you liked it. Double hit the dislike button if you disliked it. Share it if you feel like sharing it. But yeah, see you guys when I see you guys. I should be live streaming the next couple days. Peace.